Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to XCOM 2 Tactical Legacy Pack. So today we're going to be starting Avenger Assemble. So, although the Avenger is still far from being flight ready, the ship has already become something of a hub for the early resistance movement. With both a professional and personal connection to the Avenger, Lily Shen has taken on the role of facilitator, gathering resources and supplies to keep the ship in tip-top tip -top condition until the day finally comes and she can fly again. Alright. Sure. Chief Engineer's Log, Lily Shen, first entry. It's funny. Dad always used to smile when he said that. Hmm. Some sort of inside joke from the old days, I guess. Well, the joke's on me now, isn't it? He's gone. They won't see him. And now I have to pick up the pieces. Problem is, I have no idea how they fit back together. Central tried to give me one of his pep talks today, right after Dad's ceremony. Five seconds later, I had my first mission. Something about scanning some old ordnance our recon drone spotted. Oh, that and getting this entire ship operational. No pressure, right? Right, it'll be fine. Yay, Dr. Reapers, Duke okay. Lock. Well, field notes, I suppose. We're approaching an old intercept oh. we picked up on Hi. a drone flyover. I made the mistake of telling people right. about a new 3D replication system hmm. I've been working on. And now it okay. wants to blueprint all kinds of stuff. In this case, hmm. some old avalanche missiles we were after. Oh, I hated the air game so much. Okay, so... You should probably come up front, because your range is terrible. And you should probably come over here, because your range is terrible. And you can just come here, because reasons. And let's see what they do. That's a pretty nasty pod. Hmm. I'm gonna start keeping these entries for posterity purposes. Or just in case I get incinerated into atoms today. Hmm. Those missiles were volatile before they crash landed in the forest. And then of course there's Advent. If we can spot this stuff, so can the aliens. So using a claymore would be a good idea here. Shredding the mech would be a really good idea. Thing that I'm not sure of is, do I want to use a grenade and a claymore? That's a lot of explosives. In fact, I think I'll have to. Well, not not Lily here. Where's my frontline grenade? Yeah, I can't get all four in one grenade. That would be beautiful. Well. You know, I think we're going to have to. I think that's what we're going to have to do. And that'll still leave me a bunch of shots. So let's get all four of you guys. Um, the officer is actually the least dangerous of the four. At least by himself. Stun lancers are pretty bad. I don't want to leave a stun lancer up. And obviously we're not leaving a mech or anything around. And the trooper is just kind of in the way. So. Does this have all four of these guys? Yes. Okay. Okay. And you don't have the ability to let you throw and then shoot. Well, that's too bad. But it is what it is. All right, here we go. Hello. All right. That's pretty good damage. And can we kill these guys with what we have left? Probably. Let's see what they do. Yeah, hi, Mac. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can. Uh, let's see here. If I pull over here, I'll have a flank and hide benefit off you. Let me go ahead and shoot you right in the top of your stupid head. 62%, please kill it. And you didn't kill it. Crap. Alright, so now the question is, do we use everybody? Do we leave the officer up? I don't like any of those. I mean, I've got Reconceal, I just don't want to do it, but I guess we have to. Okay, good shot. And... Ooh, okay. Nice. Okay. Now I think we can just move up here. We're going to have to move up in flank, so we're going to have to have Lily out in the open. I don't love that, but it is what it is. All right. All right, that wasn't a bad first turn. Hi, 
hard to believe we used to consider these avalanche missiles to be the most advanced ballistic weapons around. Hey, I spent a lot of money on those. Back when conventional warfare was a thing, these days they'd be considered quaint at best right? compared to what the aliens have. Still, I'm betting Central will put them to good use. If we survive this, that is. So, there's a lot of map. Before we go down there into this obvious shooting gallery, let's try to circle around the top and see if there's anything else unpleasant waiting for us. Because once we get down in the middle there, we're sort of at the mercy of everything else around us. Okay, so it's actually clear up here. So let's move along bit by bit. How safely can we do that? Not very, but kinda. Yeah, not, not very. Um, I guess go ahead and have a crappy overwatch. That'll be better than nothing. The aliens never seem that interested in adapting any of our technology. They were definitely protective of their own stuff. Right. I used to think they just didn't want us to have access to it, but maybe it's something else. Maybe they're afraid of what we might do. Crazy to say this, but I guess they're sort of like dad in that way. I... I don't understand that sentence, but okay. So how far over can I move safely? Um... Probably to here. Yep, that should be fine. And I'm gonna move you manually, so come here. I don't like running around without any overwatches, but I think we'll be okay for one more turn. Alright. Whoops, and we're not okay for one more turn. Oh, it would have been nice to have overwatches here. Oh, they didn't see us. Dad is okay. Was wary of the alien's tech. He'd always say it was the ultimate expression of biomechatronics. Right? It wasn't meant as a compliment. Oh. I remember him arguing with Dr. Valen night after night. Despite the advances the alien tech offered us, Dad was determined to keep humans, well, human. Well, except for the whole thing where we lopped apart their bodies. But except for that, so I can get over to get, there's one place I can get a top overwatch, and I could get more down here, but I don't want to do that. So what I think we're going to do, can I move you up here safely? Yes. There now. Okay. Not there. Um, maybe over here? I will move. And then we're gonna overwatch, scarily enough. I don't I don't love that, but I think it's the best go? thing we can do. This is a dumb place to have a shotgun, but kinda is what it is. Uh, you don't have free reloads or anything cool like that, do you? Nope. Alright. Not that your overwatch is very good, but... If somehow you get revealed... Oh, really? Modifying humans is one thing. Upgrading equipment is another. The Avengers shell is already predominantly alien. An old transport ship XCOM managed to dig up in the early days of the war. If we actually tried to work with their technology instead of against it... Mm. The Avenger will actually fly someday. That's when I got my first look at the missiles we were after. Mm, yeah, this is squirrely. Okay. Can I move you guys at all? Not, not even the tiniest, tiniest bit in any effective manner. Okay, let's try overwatching again. Maybe this time they will thoughtfully move towards us. Locked and definitely loaded. I'm on it. And you're gonna walk away. Getting ahead of myself, no, you're not. Can't get the Avenger up and running if I can't make it through one salvage operation. Did Dad ever have to go on these? The way people used to look at him, they could see the respect. Right now, I think these soldiers just look at me as another piece of gear they need to protect. That is true. Are these guys really not going to move again? You know... <sighs> The AI in this game cheats a lot. Both it is frustrating. It is very frustrating. I'll keep an eye on it. If you want to try it sometime, play one of the missions um, where, like, you have to go, you know, kill a VIP or something. 
spend a couple of turns, like seven, eight turns, just moving back and forth and hiding across the map, and you'll see that all of a sudden, all of the pods start randomly walking directly towards you all at once. It's very frustrating. So we're not going to get any overwatches on this son of a bitch. Okay, well... That's pretty bad, but let's do it. Rover, let's move. Yeah, hi. This is putting them at a really strong advantage. Getting all their moves first. Okay, so what are our priorities? The stun lancers are pretty bad. Wait, do I have any health kits? Oh, I don't. Well, isn't that just cute? Okay. The priest is actually what I'm worried least about, to be honest. Well, no, the priest can do some pretty unpleasant stuff. Probably these two in front are going to be priorities. Not only that, they're the two that I can probably kill. We've got a good shot from up here, but not enough to get a kill. You... Actually, I also have a really good shot from up here. 84? If I could connect with this without needing to use a grenade, that would help a lot. The thing is, if you miss, we're in a lot of trouble. What does justice look like? 93 on the Stun Lancer. Ooh. That'd be cute, but we can't use it this time. Okay, so what do we have here? 86 is fine. 90 is probably pretty good. You can't kill that. You probably can't kill that. Okay, let's work first up here on the Viper. I think that's probably our best shot. 84. If you can get a good hit on here, it may just go away. Okay, you missed. That's that's pretty bad. No, it won't do it. That's, that's really bad, because now I can't kill the Viper. Wow. Okay, I guess nobody's going to be killing the Viper. Okay. Huh. Well, shoot the priest at least. And I guess we'll just kill the priest. Oh, you can't even see the priest. You'd have to come right here. I will reposition. All right. Oh, you can see that turret. Won't that be cute? Well, there's not much to be done for it. I mean, maybe he'll stay invisible, but he's not. I mean, he's at full cover with a head advantage. The turret shouldn't be able to hit him. Yeah, hello. Alright, this is going to be bad news with the Viper. Well, and this guy. Ooh, okay. That's good. Yeah, this is pretty bad. You're not going to miss both. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, and now for the serious business. I can't believe you guys both missed this stupid... Oh, okay. Well, they're gonna miss things too, okay. Really? You get both? This is crap, man. Okay, well, at least that missed. Alright. Come on, give me control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing where it makes you sit and watch the points count is really annoying. Okay, so let's try something different. Let's try jumping down here and shooting the snake right in the face. Which is probably what I should have done last time. Alright. Now we have to kill both of these up here. Um, your shots are terrible because you're poisoned. Uh, there is absolutely nothing I can do about that because I do not have any medkits. So that's pretty bad. Um, can I get a grenade on both of them? That'd be kind of neat, but I don't think I can. I don't think without killing my own dude. Can you fall back enough to not be in line of sight of something? Maybe. I don't think I can kill both, but I can try. What's justice look like? 63, yeah. Again, same problem. Poison minus 30. Well, yeah, I guess I fall back to the full cover, and I'll grenade them and try to kill at least one. Because they're definitely not going to miss another time. 
Oh, I'm gonna destroy my nice full cover too, aren't I? Well, maybe not all of it. Right there. Yeah, I don't think I can kill both. This is gonna be interesting, and they're flanking us, so there's a strong chance they'll kill somebody. Okay, let's see if we can take this guy out. Three. Okay, three's pretty bad. Well, Lily is probably protected by plot armor, so we're just gonna have to hope. Okay, that's a pretty good shot. All right, let's see what our last stun lancer does. If he hits our Reaper gun, our Reaper's gonna die. Okay, that's obnoxious. This looks a little ugly. You look a little ugly. That was uncalled for. I'm sorry about that. Come on. Alright. Can I get back up here and then shoot you in the face? Oh no, it's 100% from right here. Pew. Alright, well that was gross. Alright, everyone stay where you are. Oh, actually, I think I should have hunkered down to keep poison damage from going, but I forgot. So, oh well. Alright, let's wait for this to disperse. Okay, no longer poisoned. Okay. So I don't have a sniper, so there's frankly no point in reconcealing at this point. Because the turret's just going to shoot us anyway. What do we have for cover left? We have one bit of high full cover. Maybe from over here? It's hard to tell. Um... Let's bring Lily down here. Because then I can move up to this tree and maybe see it. I don't actually know. So, it's going to be a surprise. Everybody loves surprises, right? Right. Now, I don't have any shredding for this thing. At least not effective shredding. Alright, so where do we need to go? So, Lily, can you see this from anywhere in full cover? The answer is no. So we're gonna have only half cover. Oh, that's gross. Okay, so here's the plan then. We're gonna reconceal, we're gonna move up, and we're gonna see if it's safe to really, really move up. Because if we can, then we can run way up front with some grenades at least. It actually looks like it might be, so who's got grenades left? You have a grenade, and it's just you actually, okay. So, Moving. come here, because that's safe. So what you're going to have to do, actually, next time, is run up to something like this, and then hunker down, and then shred it on the next turn. Something like that. Something stupid like that. We can actually do that now with you, except, like, these guys might actually die if they get hit, so... <laughs> uh, I don't want to do that. Okay, now can you run up and then hunker down? Kind of. No. Yeah, no. The answer is no. You'd have to be where Lily is. Okay. I'm out of here. Well, let's do a little two step thing here then. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Alright. Same thing. You know, the first missions of things like this are always so hard. Oh man, you're just short of that half cover, or the full cover over there. Well, let's do it in two parts anyway. Come on up here, and yeah, I'm going to have you hunker down so that you can get optimal positioning next time. I am trusting you. It's looking like the rest of this map... Whoa, I am really glad I didn't move up. Ha ha ha. Hmm. Uh, all right. You can just shoot it. You're not going to do any damage, but you might as well. One damage. Nicely done. No, it did not. Okay, so let's hunker down up here. And you are actually, I think, just going to stay up here. Actually, if we're going to kill it, we really got to go all in. So come on down, and you're going to hunker down as well. 
And you can go ahead and just overwatch. Keep an eye on that pot up there. Feel free to lip. miss, 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 miss. Okay, good. Heavy fire here. So, I didn't see any armor over there, so I guess we can go ahead and we can just use our last bit of shredding over here. That doesn't mean there wasn't any armor, it just means that I don't instantly remember seeing any. Which is not the same thing. And we're off. Oh, really? Well, let's wait until next turn to do that, though. Let's get this thing taken care of. Okay, good. Okay. So move up here safely, and then let's all just hang out here for a second. And let's see what these guys back here do. Okay. Let's, uh, let's scan it. Let's see how their encryption holds up. Right? Well, this is ours, I mean. Um, soldier aim? Yeah, good. Um, yeah, let's go for that. Ah, I should have gotten greedy. That's fine. Alright, cool. Now we just gotta take care of that pod in the back. Once we had the missile secured, we just had to fight our way out of there. Yeah. It's the part I'm not very excited about. I can take exactly none shots on basically anybody. They did a pretty good job beating us up, I'm not gonna lie. Whatever you say, Commander. Heading there now. Alright. Overwatch! I will watch. I miss having snipers to open up cute things. So what is this anyway? A purifier, an officer, a trooper. Ooh, that's... Well, that's not going to be a good day. Okay. Can we move up far enough to set up an overwatch trap? Maybe. It's possible. We'll give it a try, of course. I'm already gone. Moving to designated position. All right. Come get I mean, I don't even think this pod... This pod isn't even moving, is it? No, this is a stationary pod. Alright. So in that case, Lily, come over here. It's probably the purifier I'm the most worried about. Alright, let's see if they move towards us. I hate these maps where nothing moves. It's so frustrating. Alright, one reload, one more turn, just in pure hope, and then we'll just do it. That just gives the baddies such an advantage when they get all the first moves. Alright, move up to half cover. Yeah. Well, we can definitely leave the sectoid up. Oddly, I'm not worried about the sectoid. I am mostly worried about the purifier. Yeah, he's definitely my biggest concern here. The last thing I need is to get everybody set on fire, you know? Now, who can you see? I mean, you can see the purifier, but obviously we're not going to do that. I've got a decent chance to just kill the trooper, 73%. Um, let's give it a try. That could be convenient. Oh, you got him. Nicely done. Okay. So that's one down. That's good. Alright, and then you have some really bad shots, but it doesn't matter because I can't destroy your cover anyway. So we could take some just low percentage shots. That's about all I can do. I don't have anything else clever. Yeah, we're just going to take some hits. So... Yeah, I might as well shoot at the officer. Wow, okay. Maybe we're not going to get as many hits in as I was concerned about. Unfortunately, your grapples have no use to us. But we can overwatch with you and maybe keep them pinned down. And fall over here, perhaps? I'm going to have to get a flank on to get any useful shots in. Um, come back here. Oh yeah, and Lily. 
Lily, come over here. I think we're spread out enough that we won't get grenaded. You know what? Take the shot anyway. You're not going to be any good at Overwatch. Yeah, hit it. Nicely done. Now I wish I hadn't moved my stupid... Anyway, never mind. Oh, you're going to resurrect. Okay. As long as the purifier doesn't kill anybody, we're basically done. Let's see what he does. Come on. And you missed. Oh, you're out in cover. Are you just going to stand there? Oh, apparently you are. Okay. Yeah, you're okay. Settle down. Okay. Um. Let's get the sectoid. Hello. Sword to the face. Oh, that didn't kill it. That's disappointing. Um, and troublesome. Um, definitely troublesome. Um, pull up all the way here, because we need to kill this purifier. I think we can still pull this off, but you gotta hit this guy. Son of a... Okay, now we're in a little bit more trouble. Lily, I know you're on fire, but I need you to kill this guy. Okay, good. And come back here and shoot this guy in his face. Well, shoot him in the back of his face. He won't like that. Okay, please be the end. Okay, that's the end. Oh, that was a little rough. All right. That went well? Alright. Hmm. So a frag grenade with a flashbang and a frag grenade with an EMP. Those are both useful in their own ways, but I think this time I'm going to take the other items. Although, if I take those other items, I'm going to lose my grenades, aren't I? You know what? Let's try it anyway. It'll be interesting. Alright, Haywire Protocol, fine. Phantom, okay, that's fine. Total Combat, that's good. I like that. Uh, remote Start, eh. Blood Trail, good. And a Grenadier. Hooray, with Shredder. Okay, cool. Alright, well at this point, let's go ahead and let's take a break. When we come back, we'll move ahead and find more bits and bobs for Lily. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.